In this video, we're going to talk about exporting stems. So what are stems? Stems are groups of tracks in a multi-track project. They're usually grouped by category. Drum tracks could be rendered together as a stereo drum stem. Lead and backing vocals could be rendered as a stereo vocal stem. You could also have a single part, such as a bass stem, that contains just the bass guitar. Stems usually include all the effects applied to the track, so compression, EQ, reverb, etc. So why use stems? Well, stems are great if you ever want to have your song remixed by somebody else. Remix artists like stems because they provide organized groups of tracks in a polished sounding format, as opposed to raw tracks that wouldn't have any effects. Another reason to create stems is for backup and archival purposes. Stems can serve as a backup in case you ever want to access your original project, but you don't have access to the DAW the song was originally recorded in. So how do you export stems from Reaper? Before we render our stems, let's do a save as to make it clear that this project is being exported as stems and not a final mix. We'll save this as Yorkshire Lady stems. Next, we should make sure that we've selected the portion of the song we want to export. Because we're making stems, we need to start our selection on a beat one before the start of the song. This is so that all the individual stem files will have the same virtual one bar count in. So I'm going to have to adjust the selection we already have here from our previous renders and just zoom in here at the beginning of the song. And I'm going to start this beat one of bar two. And I'm going to double check the end of the selection to make sure it goes just past the end of the song, which it does. You can see the last bit of the song there is there. Next, we need to select which tracks will be exported as stems. So holding control on a PC or command on a Mac, Click on each track you want to be a stem. You can select tracks or track folders. I'm going to select the drums and percussion folder, bass, acoustic guitar, synth, lead guitar, and vocals. Notice they have a lighter background color when they are selected. And we can see that having our folder tracks already makes life a lot easier here. So now we're going to go to the render window again. So we go File, Render. And we're going to make some changes here. The render bounds is good. Our time selection, that's what we want. But we don't want to render the master mix. We want to render stems or the selected tracks. So let's select that. Because this is going to create multiple files, let's choose MP3 as our output format so we can keep the total file size under control. This is going to make it a lot easier when we have to send files to a remix artist. If we were doing this for archival purposes, I'd choose 24-bit wave instead, since that's the best possible audio quality. In this case though, we're gonna go with MP3, maximum bit rate and quality. Now I'm gonna look at the output. To keep my files organized, I'm gonna create a new directory to store my stems. I'm just gonna put this on the desktop. I'm gonna go say browse, browse for directory. On the desktop, I'm gonna make a new folder. Call this stems choose that. In the file name, I'm going to use an additional wildcard. We don't need to have instrumental here. Instead, I'm going to use the wildcard track. And that's going to add the track name to the project name as part of the rendered file. Let's check out those six files it's going to create here. Great, we can see it's going to create one called drums and percussion, bass, acoustic guitar, synth, lead guitar, and vocals. It's going to do all that for us. We've set everything else as we need to, so let's render those six files. Okay, now let's go to the desktop to see that the files are there. Here's our stems folder. Open this up. Move this over and we can see that we have our six mp3 files right here. But how can we be sure that this is going to work exactly as we expected it to? Well, let's go back to Reaper and make a new session and import our stems. We'll save our project before closing. Make a new file on our desktop. We'll call this stem test. Now we're going to import those six files. So we go to Insert, 
media file. Go to our desktop. We'll find our stems folder and we'll select all the tracks by holding shift while we select them. That works on a Mac or a PC. We click open. And that's going to ask us whether we want them on the same track or on separate tracks. And of course, in this case, we want them on separate tracks. All right, our files are imported. I'm going to just zoom out. And I'm going to just jump into the middle of the song and I'm going to hit play. We come. Sounds good. And what we can do is just double check when we solo these things that this is acoustic guitar. This is our synth. And remember, we recorded our electric guitar directly, so it sounded very flat, but then we took some time to add some effects to it. So let's just take a listen to that. Great, so everything's there. So we can be confident sending these files off to a remix artist and knowing that they'll have all the files they need to do a remix of our song. And that's how you export your song as stems in Reaper.